Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Microsoft Outlook signatures using um, Microsoft Word to basically design your signature and then pull that into Microsoft Outlook. Um, this will be a relatively um, easy to follow tutorial, um, so if you do find it useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Word. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is basically set up our main signature. So I'm just going to go with that office guy. Um, and then underneath that, I'm probably going to want the email address. So that office guy uk at gmail.com. And then under there, I'm probably, that's not how you spell that. Let's try that. That office guy. UK. Okay. Um, then underneath this, I'm going to want two images side by side. Okay. So what we're going to do is just hop over to the ribbon, click on the insert tab, go to pictures, and then from this device. From here, I'm going to just hop over to the pictures section, and these are the two images in question. So I'm just going to select both of those and insert them. Now we can see that they are actually underneath each other. So I'm just going to start to scale this down and I will scale this one as well. Okay, about that size. Now this one has a lot of white space around it, so I'm going to crop that. I'm just going to use the crop tool here and I'm going to pull that down um, and I'll pull that up a little bit. Move this across here and to here. Okay. And we can now leave that. Right, now these are the wrong way around. Ideally, I would like um, this and then this one. So I can, um, first of all, need to just adjust these images a little bit. So this little icon that pops up when you select these images, what you want to do is actually click on them. Um, and currently, it's in line with text. I want this to be um, through text. Okay, and then I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to select through the text. Okay. Now what I can do is actually move these around because they're not anchored in in the same way that uh, they were when you first paste them in. Okay. So now I can just line these up just right. Um, I can select both of those like so, picture formatting, um, and I can choose the alignment and let's go with middle align make sure that's all lined up and there we go so now my signature uh, looks like this where i have um, two pieces of text here so one is the, um, the my name or the, the channel name um, i have the uh, email address there if i wanted to i could include a telephone number i'm just going to grab um, these two pieces of text just here um, go back to this home tab um, and make sure that we have this one selected. I'm going to make them bold. Um, I'm going to just increase them here. I'm also going to um, change the spacing here. So I'm going to remove it because I don't like the spacing between um, the lines. So that office guy and that office guy UK at Gmail, I don't want that spacing. So all I've done here is actually just gone over to this paragraph uh, and the line spacing from the home tab um, and remove that. Um, and what I'm going to need to do is just pivot these down a little bit, select those again, come to that picture format on the ribbon, click to alignment and align middle, make sure all that's where I want it to be. And there we go. Okay, so there's our signature set up in uh, Microsoft Word. Now what we're going to do is hop over to Microsoft Outlook. Um, and what we're going to do here is actually um, basically create a new email. From this new email box, we want the signature from the message and then signatures. That's the quickest and easiest way I know to basically pull up all of your signatures in your Outlook. And then you can basically create new um, Microsoft uh, Outlook signatures directly here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually select the right email address. So from this drop down menu here, we're going to select that office guy. And then over here, we can see that there's no signatures yet created. So we're going to click on new and we're going to give this a name. We're going to call it that office guy. 
and I'm going to click OK. Once that is done and it will automatically be selected and highlighted in blue, we'll have this um, text box appear just down here. So now what we want to do is hop back over to our um, signature that we created in Microsoft Word and highlight everything and copy it. So I can either right click copy or use the control pad shortcut of control C. Now we're going to head back to this um, message and we put it in as a picture. Okay. So now we have two images side by side inside our signature um, of that office guy with our email address. I can now click OK. And now what I can do is actually apply that office guy's signature directly into my email. Now this one here has a line underneath it, which is not necessarily what we want. Um, so we could play around with our um, word signature a little bit until we get it just right. Um, but that's how easy it is to basically create a very fancy um, signature using something like Microsoft Word and then pasting all of this um, into our signature in Outlook. Now, just to run through that one more time, if we go to the signature section here, make sure that we have the right account selected. We'll choose this signature of that office guy. Um, if I just remove this, what I did was I right clicked and I pasted it in as a picture. So if I use the destination theme, it will look like this. You're not going to get those images coming in. Um, so we don't necessarily want that. So I'm going to remove all of that. And um, if we paste it, um, keeping the source formatting again, you're not getting the images pulled in. Um, if we paste it merge in the formatting, you're not getting the images and it's changing the style of the fonts. Um, pasting it as a picture, we know. And if we paste it as text, well, you're just going to get the text in and no images. So it's important that when you paste this across from Word into Outlook, that you use the paste as a picture option, which then basically keeps absolutely everything um, as it was defined in Microsoft Word. Um, it basically comes through as if it was an image um, or like a snapshot from your Word document um, into your Outlook application. Um, and guys, it is as easy as that to set up a Microsoft Outlook signature using Microsoft Word to first of all create the styling and the design of your signature. And you can make these things very fancy or um, right down to uh, the, the in keeping with your personal brand images, etc. Um, so have a play around with what you can create in Microsoft Word um, and then try pulling that into your Outlook application. The same can be said. You can use something like Photoshop as well, if that's what you're more used to doing. Um, and there's a whole host of other applications that basically allow you to copy that information or that image into your clipboard that you can then paste as a signature in Outlook. If you found this useful, um, you know, know what to do and I will catch you guys in the next video.